Good day, you beautiful people of YouTube. It's the Mad Marine, and well, we're doing another little ammo hunt slash ammo search. And it is, what is this? Uh, December 23rd, 2020. The year is almost over, and Merry Christmas to you all. I hope you guys are uh, having the opportunity to enjoy this time and spend some time with um, <laughs> your close family, and if you're doing the whole extended family thing. Hope you guys are being safe and uh, being able to enjoy that time together. I know it's been kind of a, maybe not the best year ever, but maybe not the worst year ever. Um, you know, try to count those blessings. So, again, looking for ammo. Uh, we, we're going to see what we can see. Going to a different academy than normal. Um, this one's about just a little over 30 minutes away, but I haven't been to it yet. And I wanted to see if there's anything different. I have a friend who's hopefully heading to the location I normally go to, which is Kennesaw, and uh, we're going to kind of compare notes of what uh, what, he, what we see, and we will figure out, uh, you know, maybe if academies are getting different stock or getting different things or, you know, getting more of one particular item than the other one. Um, so we'll check that out and see what is, it, what is different. So, um, should be an interesting day. Uh, I did get a nap, uh, if you guys saw the last video, I did get a nap, so feeling much better. Uh, I did get some better sleep before this morning. It is, again, too early. It's like 5.30 in the morning, heading to the academy. So, uh, I will, uh, enough with the chit-chat, and we will, uh, get another review, uh, once we're at academy, and we'll see what we can see. Well, here in Hiram, Georgia, and it is December 23rd and well there's already like three or four people at the Academy and a couple of cars in the parking lot uh, make sure not get anyone's plates in here if best I can but um, yeah so about three to five people in line already it's just after six so not as many people so far but um, we'll see what they end up having we'll compare that hopefully with uh, the Kennesaw location and see what the difference is. All right, second Academy, we're gonna give it a shot. I uh, was not impressed with the first one overall. I probably won't be back there in uh, Hiram, but uh, we'll see if this one has anything left over about, about 40 minutes after they opened. Well, good morning, you beautiful people of YouTube. It's the Mad Marine here, and well, uh, I won't spoil any uh, I'm trying to spoil anything, but I do want to talk about maybe a couple things uh, I've heard or heard today, and so I want to share with you guys. So apparently, uh, the big news is Academy supposedly is getting trucks at all their locations on Thursday, um, December 24th, 2020. Uh, normally they'd come in Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, but apparently they are getting them on Thursday. So hopefully, maybe that'll help a couple of you out. That being said, you can't beat the flippers. There's just no way around it. Um, flippers are gonna flip. They're gonna do what they're gonna do. And what I've experienced so far uh, in my you know limited experience doing this is probably the first 10 people in your line are ammo flippers. Uh, and that's just the way it is. And they're gonna buy uh, the biggest packs. They're gonna show up at three and four o'clock in the morning uh, before they open, and they're gonna double and triple their money. Um, yeah, it's just the way it is. Uh, sometimes even more. There was a guy in my line today bragging about how he sold 200 rounds of nine millimeter Monarch steel for $200. Yes, a dollar round for something he paid 20 cents a round. Five times, that, it's nuts. Um, so you can't beat ammo flippers. All you can do is try not to pay the prices and uh, Buy things and sell to people at a fair price. Um, I am trying to get ammo to as many people like as I can <laughs> I, I was referred to uh, quite silly as ammo Santa one time and uh, <laughs> That's quite funny. It is the season. So I'll take it. I laugh um but yeah, try to help those people out who uh, who need the ammo. Like, so if you're at Academy and you know somebody who needs something, pick something up and sell it to them basically at cost, you know? Um, and help them out so they don't have to pay flipper prices, and uh, you shouldn't either. So, this is what it's about. The other crazy thing, I was talking to a policeman 
recently and he was telling me that their department has canceled weapons training uh, for this year and they stopped uh, doing weapons training I think sometime um, early this year uh, usually once a month they would get like a couple boxes of ammo and they could go to the range and practice and their department has stopped that because they cannot replace the ammo now, I don't know if it's they can't replace the ammo because of cost or they can't replace the ammo because of availability we didn't get into it is that but basically they had stopped all weapons training and had to were getting like I guess waivers or or stays so they wouldn't have to do qualifications because the department cannot field the ammo for whatever reason again whether that's cost or whether that's availability didn't get into it but I mean craziness you know your local police department may be going through an ammo shortage uh, and is having to ration rounds uh, that's nuts um, you know I honestly believe that uh, the ammo companies are doing anything and everything they can do I know there's been talks of uh, oh the ammo companies are just hoarding ammo they're just stockpiling it in factories I don't I don't see that I don't believe it um, now do certain manufacturers of ammunition have certain government quotas they have to meet to ship to government contracts and meet certain government contracts absolutely so you know is you know throw on your tinfoil hat here um, is the government getting their ammo before everyone else sure yeah I, I, I buy that is there a warehouse where they're stocking up the ammo before they ship it out so wherever they need to ship it out to for their government contract sure I mean but that's these were agreements that were you know probably met years and years and years ago and you know they still have to produce that amount of ammunition uh, to meet those contract requirements and they're gonna do that so that's that's totally legit I know um, you know is the government hoarding ammo sure why not I'll, I'll, I'll buy that is are there uh, you know uh, ammunition factories or producers hoarding ammo no they're they're pumping out as much as they can I honestly believe that I really do um, saw some interesting ammo types today I saw uh, some FN 57 ammo um, uh, come in which was quite weird and so that was uh, that was interesting to see 57 ammo at Academy uh, not particular uh, I have seen an uptick in guns at Academy so if you're looking for a firearm you know at a decent and fair price um, you know it seems like there's options in stock I saw at least 15 bills, um, yesterday and I saw or I'm sorry 15 to 20 pistols yesterday at one location I think I saw another like you know 15 pistols today at another location even some you know bolt action rifles some shotguns a few other odds and ends um, most of today I did not see a lot of rifle ammunition for whatever reason I don't know why that is it was a lot of pistol ammo 45 40s um, 22 long rifle I did see that 9 millimeter um, and the quantities varied um, you know ideally the bigger boxes the better but you know you got to take what you can get but anyway, I will uh, show you the finds uh, in the next video. But again, please like, share, and comment, and subscribe. That really helps the channel. I appreciate your time, and I hope this information helps you guys in some way. And I will catch you later. This is the Mad Marine, signing off. Good day, you beautiful people of YouTube. It's the Mad Marine, and well, today is December 23rd. I think we've already covered that. But um, 2020, and we're on an ammo hunt. We did some academy searching in the wee early hours, and well, all things considered, I guess this was a good day. Um, that being said, I wish it was a better day. Um, so we've got five Winchester white box, 100 rounds, um, 100 rounds of target ammo, essentially, full metal jacket, and those were $26.99 a box, so about 27 cents a round. We've got some Blazer Brass, two of those, 50 round boxes. And these were, oh my goodness, those were $13.99 a box, and they were 28 cents a round. And we found the Browning. Now these seems to seem to be the best deal, and these were 24 cents a shot and a total of $35.99 a box. 
you know, plus tax. Um, I got an hour early to one uh, different location than I normally went to. I believe the one in Hiram, 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 Georgia, the academy there. And well, there's a bunch of ammo flippers there. Uh, I think it was number 10 in line. Uh, there were some 200 round boxes of nine millimeter, but those went really quick. Um, and all that was left was the hundred rounders and pick those up. And honestly, after me, there weren't any hundred rounders left. It was down to 50 round boxes. Um, so I went to two locations. I got these three and then, um, I went to another one and got another hundred rounder and then these two because you get three box minimum. And then a friend of mine helped me out. He got these two, which was fantastic. And then this one and I'm going to sell these to people who cannot get to Academy or just don't have the time. And I will sell them to people who need them. Uh, I will not charge them really any extra for it. Um, I'm just going to round up some numbers so I don't have to deal with pennies, quarters, dimes, or nickels. And uh, to help some people out. So I'll be the ammo Santa until I'm not, um, which will probably be in January because I've got to go back to work and I won't have time to do this. But uh, if I can help a few people out and provide some content, um, the other weird thing I saw at Academy today was really interesting. Um, they had FN 5.7. Now, I don't believe it was actually made by FN. I believe it was made by who else makes it. I can't remember. But uh, it had the 5.7 ammo, and it was reasonably priced. Um, again, ammo flippers are out there. Uh, I think I was telling some stories like somebody's charging... <laughs> $200 for steel ammunition. You know, one of these boxes was $200. It's, I mean, it's 200 rounds of nine millimeter, but it's definitely not worth $200. I think I paid 20 cents a round for this. Um, so basically 40 bucks and they're charging $200. Uh, the other weird thing is I've heard people are going to pawn shops, taking this ammo and selling it to pawn shops for double. So, you know, like what, um, you know, this box is twenty twenty seven dollars They take it to a pawn shop and they get, you know, double the money for it. And then the pawn shop adds, you know, doubles their money on it. So it's, it's ridiculous. Um, I guess that's the world we live in, <laughs> you know, I guess that's just the reality of the markets. Um, you know, hopefully this stuff will calm down. I really think it's going to come down to, um, the politics and see, see what happens come January or end of January. And once hopefully the political climate calms down and suppliers have the opportunity to catch up, this won't be an issue anymore. It will get, it'll slowly go down to whatever nor the new normal will be. Um, every time we've had a huge panic like this, things have never really gotten back to normal. It's always a few cents more than what it should have been or what it was. Um, I think that may be the case um, just moving forward. I think that it might be the way it's going to be. But um, who knows? Maybe we'll just have really cheap ammo or maybe we'll have none. <laughs> who knows? I'm hopeful. But I wanted to wish you guys a Merry Christmas. I do appreciate your time. And again, uh, if you could, please subscribe. That's the biggest way of helping out the channel and then sharing and commenting. Love to hear stories. Love to hear what's going on in your area. Um, what did they have at Academy? They had they didn't have actually have very many rifle calibers today, which was very odd. Um, so maybe those will be on the trucks tomorrow, which, by the way, um, the 24th of December, 2020, the supposedly trucks are still going to come into Academy on a Thursday, uh, cause they won't be coming in on Friday cause the academies will be closed for Christmas. So maybe, um, that helps you out. I'm sure the ammo flippers will be there in, uh, in full force, but who knows? Maybe you can get a good deal. Anyway, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to reach out. I'm always happy to help. And I will catch you next time. Mad Marine signing off.